how's it going? I'm Becky and this is the Bullhorn News. We begin again as usual with more reports of steroid allegations. This time, however, it's not Hall of Fame athletes that are involved, but multi-millionaire entertainers. <laughs> Big surprise. The Times Union of Albany claims that hip-hop stars 50 Cent, Timberland, Wyclef Jean, along with R&B queen Mary J. Blige, and author-slash-producer Tyler Perry have received or used performance-enhancing drugs. We don't know why these stars would feel the need to go on the juice, but just a word of advice for you potential roid users out there, get whatever 50 Cent was on and stay the hell away from whatever Timberland was using. This is a quick heads up to ex-Falcon safety Eugene Robinson. If you're thinking about going to the Super Bowl to pick up another prostitute this year, you should probably check out Katie's recent post on withleather.com first. It appears the Phoenix Police Department and the FBI are teaming up to crack down on the sex workers heading to the city for the week of the big game. You might just want to stay home and polish that Athletes in Action Award you got for your outstanding character and leadership. Mixmakers.net has unearthed a possible reason why John Kitna's prediction of a 10-win season for the Lions didn't come true. And that reason is, maybe he doesn't have the best passing skills. Check out this embarrassing moment from the pro quarterback as he attempts to throw t-shirts into the stands at a Sonics game. So weak. Even Squatch thinks Kitten is a tool. Harvey Bars at TaricoSuave.com linked us up to a disturbing story from Wisconsin, where a 36-year-old man duct-taped his 7-year-old son to a chair for about an hour and a half after the youngster wouldn't wear a Packers sweatshirt during a playoff game. This man was later given a disorderly conduct citation. The father's defense was that he was only joking. Does this look like a man you would want duct-taping you to a chair as a joke? I don't think so. And finally, Richard Diaz over at theloveofsports.com has compiled a list of the top video game athletes of all time. And to no one's surprise, Bo Jackson has topped the list for his superhuman speed and strength in Tech Mobile. Other Tech Mobile legends like the Nigerian Nightmare Christian Okoye and Randall Cunningham, aka QB Eagles, made the list. While Jeremy Roenuk is still the lone hockey player in the top ten for his NHL 93 skills that were made so famous by Vince Vaughn and Swingers. There it is, Mikey. Check it out. His head's bleeding. Mikey, check it out. His legs, Little Wayne's legs are shaking Fucking all over. Bitch. The what are you doing? Look at Little Wayne's legs shaking all over the ice. I am Becky. See you next week. <laughs>